I have this older HP Pavilion X360 13 inch laptop. It needs a lot of help. I'll show you what I mean. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have this 13 inch HP Pavilion X360 laptop. Uh, it's an older one. It's been sitting around for a few, few years, not being used. Thus, the battery is pretty much shot in it. Uh, it's one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a brand new battery in it. I have one right here. And it's still got the original, I believe it's a 500 gig mechanical hard drive. I'm going to replace that with a brand new Crucial MX500. 250 gig, 2.5 inch SATA SSD. Then I'm going to do a fresh clean install of Windows 10. The latest version is too old to put Windows 11 on it. It has a 5th generation Core i3 processor in it. The exact model of this unit is 13-020NR. It's a it's a two-in-one. It's got four gig four gigabytes of memory. Um, it's in really good shape. Like I said, it's been sitting around. The customer just wants to start using it. I'm just gonna bring it up to speed so it's a good, workable, usable computer. So without further ado, I've already removed all the screws on the bottom, so I am gonna open it up and show you what's going on, on the inside but on these you would think that the bottom pan would just come off but on these you have to remove the whole palm rest here um, then there's two cables underneath here one for the touchpad one for the keyboard that we have to carefully disconnect from the from the motherboard so on the bottom okay here's what we got you have to remove these little rubber feet here in the corners because there's a screw underneath each one of those you got to pop these little rubber plugs out that they got here. Kind of hard to see, but they go in these holes right here. And there's a screw that goes down into each one of those. Then you have to remove these little plastic tabs off of these screws right there. You see that? They're they're self-adhesive. They put them back on. If you don't put them back on, it's not the end of the world. But every one of these screws goes all the way through and goes fastens into the bottom of that palm rest keyboard on the top. So you have to remove all those screws, which I've already <clears throat> already done. The screws, fortunately, are all the exact same length over here. You can see I got them laid out right over here on my magnetic little plate. And these things aren't magnetic, but yeah, worry about that later. So I am going to go ahead and take my little plastic spudger tool here. I like using these, my little triangle spudgers. I put links down below where you can get this stuff. Um, Got to flip it back over carefully. But like I said, it's, an, it's a two-in-one. It's in very good shape. Should work good once we're all done with the new battery and the SSD. So I'm just going to take this guy and stick it in a seam over here carefully. And just kind of work it along the edge here. Got to kind of gently get it started coming up. And always make sure you're protected against static electricity before you go inside your computer. And try not to touch anything. You don't absolutely have to. <clears throat> but you can see how it kind of starts starting to come up there, okay? So with a little bit of gentle pressure, usually, you know, so you, it, it's going to come right up. But if it's not coming, you can get a little, like I got these nylon spudger tools, you can get back in the back corner here and just kind of gently pry it up, so to speak. But before you go ripping it off there, get this out of the way. Like I said, underneath, it's going to be hard to see, I know. But we have two cables down here. We have to disconnect one right here, the, this big one here for the motherboard and the little one for the touchpad. They got those little black levers you got to flip up there. Just flip that one up. I'm going to get my fingernail in there. And just be very careful when you're flipping those up. They, they, if you flip them too far, you can break them. Don't want to do that. So there, we got that little guy out of the way. Pretty straightforward. So this battery is toast. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and take that out first because might as well just to be safe. But again, try not to touch the motherboard if you don't have to. And over here is our mechanical hard drive. I'm gonna put that new SATA SSD in there. So let's see here, we have, we have a screw, one here, screw here, one here, one here. It looks like four screws holding that battery in there. We got this guy, no, that's not that's not stuck on there too bad. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go ahead and 
disconnect this guy, just get it out of the way to get so I can get that battery. I just flip that little lever up right there. Get that out of the way when we put the battery in. So let's see, I'm gonna use a number number one magnetic tip screwdriver. <clears throat> Always screw or I'm sorry, move your screws away from the motherboard when you're taking them out so you don't drop it bouncing around in there and zap something. It's pretty straightforward little upgrade and repair here to make this better computer. It still has the original Windows 8 on it when it was bought new so that can kind of give you an idea how old it is. She had a handful of pictures that she wanted me to save, she remembered. I just threw them onto a little, just a hard drive I had laying around with my USB to SATA adapter there. When I'm all done, I'll put the pictures back on there for her. Um, so we got the screws out. Let's see if we can. Looks like it's going to pop up all right. All right, so we're going to disconnect it right here. The cable's just going to slide kind of back towards the battery carefully. Get my little nylon tool in there. Pop it loose. Like that. I believe that's all the screws here. There, we got our old battery out. It's a LE03XL is the number on the battery. I'll put that down below for you as well. So I'll wait to put the battery in after I replace this, just to be on the safe side. And this here is just a friction pit. The SATA cable is connected to the drive here and on the motherboard right here. Just gonna pry that loose. <laughs> and see if I can unplug it without disconnecting it from the main board. But if you do, it's no big deal. You can just plug it back into the motherboard. See, I pulled it out just a little bit here, so we gotta make sure we get that back in there. One or half a dozen of the other ways to do this. Well, I'm gonna not worry about that at the moment. Um, so there's our hard drive. It's just a, basically a friction fit on the caddy there. No screws. So we're just gonna pry it out. Get over here where you can see it, guys. <sighs> HP's never really liked their caddies. Ah. Been in there for a while. Things are stuck. Got to pull these little rubber doohickeys up here. So we'll just take it out. This crappy old hard drive, get rid of that. Put the new SSD in its place. And these little nubs here just go into the screw holes. Kind of lines everything up the way we want it. Sometimes they don't go back in. You just have to don't fit, force it. And I apologize for the sniffles. I think I've told y'all before, I pretty much have the sniffles all winter. <laughs> I don't have COVID. I've been tested, I'm good there. So, fortunately, one of the lucky ones, I guess. So I got that all mounted back in there, just like that. And I'm just gonna plug it in the same way we took it out and punch it back down into that bay there. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this right out and plug it in. Just be quite as careful. Just plugs in like that. These are always a tight fit going back in. Take your time with it, guys. Push it down as far as it'll go. Be careful not to damage anything. You got a connector right over here. You got to be kind of careful of right here on the motherboard. Watch that. Nice thing about the two ones, you can lay them down flat. Now I just got to get a hold of this dirty dog. Ah, crap. My magic tweezers here. Just got to be sure it goes in all the way. 
because if not, it won't work. So you can see I've reconnected it back over here. So we got the hard drive in. Like I said, we're doing a fresh clean install of Windows 10. When I'm done, I'll throw her pictures back on it. Got all the updates, throw Chrome, that kind of stuff on it for her. Uh, now the new battery. Right here. Oof. My battery screws. Hopefully, sorry about all the noise there, guys. Hopefully, it's the right battery. I've gotten wrong batteries before. But so far, it looks all right. LE03XL, just like the other one, okay? So now we're just going to carefully lift this cable up here, put it in place. Oh boy, the cable is awful long, isn't it? Gotta love that. You can see they gave us a, I don't know if you can see that, they gave us a lot of extra cable there. So we're gonna have to get creative with this. Hmm, don't like that. Let's see if I can plug it in first. Guess you gotta put it in the right way, Dale. See, oh, that ain't good. Stupid thing just turned on. Ugh. Um, why did it turn on? I don't like that. I mean, I could plug it in first and finagle that cable down in there, but where is the, I don't know, the power switch is over here in the corner. I don't think I hit it. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's turning on. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that extra cable. There's a will, there's a way, right? I don't think there's room for it underneath. Good Lord. Got to be able to get the palm rest back on for crying out loud. Ah. Bear with me, guys. I know you can't see this, but I'm trying to get that, see if I can get that plugged in. I'm destroying it. Yeah, and it comes on. I don't know why it does that. Let me shut it off here. Now the battery works. <clears throat> there, I turn it off. It likes to come on when I plug in that battery. Oh, boy. We got all that extra cable there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Any room underneath for it. There's a screw hole right there. Hmm, you get a screw in there. I just want that palm rest to be able to sit down on that. Not a big bulge. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm hoping. Well, there's room under the motherboard, but I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Uh, let me hook this back up. Never ran into that before. It must be kind of universal, I guess. I'm hoping that's going to be okay like that. Don't really want to put tape on it either. Got to get that. Let's see what kind of space we're looking at here. Got to be able to plug in that touchpad. Well, let's see. I don't know, guys. Goes down easy, but still. All right. 
you know, hook this bad boy. Carefully take out this screw here. I remember guys, the battery's connected. I don't want to drop a screw on there. Boy, that's not given either. Where is it? There's a screw there. There's a screw there. There's no other screws over here. Boy, I don't know. There's a little channel under there, but it doesn't have a lot of give. Uh, decisions, decisions. Um, hoping I could put that cable underneath the motherboard without bashing it up too bad. there's like a little open channel down underneath there I got that screw in so I got it kind of like that and the extra cables down underneath the motherboard doesn't appear to be bulging it up I don't know if you can see that but don't really have a choice I'm gonna try that so I already got that screw in so that's good now yeah, let's see what happens This motherboard screw back in there carefully. Simple battery re replacement, not quite so simple. I, don't know, I didn't look when I ordered, I just didn't pay attention to the length of the cable there. Probably should have. But it's the right number. I want to get this done and the other one goes right here I think we're gonna be all right not too that should be that should be all right I gotta get that cable reconnected so we got the new SSD in there got the new battery I had to finagle that extra cable underneath the motherboard there's like a little channel a little hollowed out area right underneath there which is good so that's kind of where it's sitting should be fine down there Still moving freely the wires don't appear to be pinched or anything like that so got that hooked back up our drive is connected let me set the palm rest back on maybe now i'm not going to put all those screws back in all my jobs i always wait to the very end so i know everything's going to be okay Taking screws out more than once. <laughs> I don't have to. Looks totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my power cord. Our drive activity light. We have a we have a charge light that's not blinking at us so that's good now we're going to do a clean install i'm just going to walk through this pretty quick guys i've done enough of these in my videos you can check them check them out oh excuse me i usually mute my phone my bad it's got a new phone i'm still trying to figure it out anyway i got the s21 ultra i like it so anyway, I'm going to take my USB flash drive here with Windows 10 21H2 on it. We're going to boot right from that. It should default to this for the boot device. I'm going to put it in the uh, high-speed USB port, which is over on this side. Doesn't really matter, but that's just my... Oop, push that down all the way. Got to put it in the right way, Dale. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see if it'll boot off the flash drive so I can get the clean install done. You know, that glossy screen is kind of hard to see, but. And please install operating system. Yeah, I can do that. Let's hit, um, no boot device found. Let's go control out delete. I believe it's F. 
Come on. Oops, I didn't want that. Uh, F2, don't want the... Ah, on it. Try that again. I'm gonna try to bring up the boot menu. You can see what I got there. Usually you hit enter and it, it'll go, but it's not going. Oh, crap. Well, enough of that. All right, I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to let you guys watch. I was distracted. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not as dumb as I look. I think this thing has flip the boot enabled. I got to pop this back up real quick. It's making me mad. I'm getting mad at myself. Make sure it's still off. Got to hook the keyboard back up. If I stop talking so much. Won't be one of my best videos, but you can see. Let me get the keyboard in first because it's a little bit shorter, a little less likely to oop, pop out. Just gotta take your time lining those back up. Pushing a little clip back down. Now the palm rest. I was gonna do that. I was worried about that battery cable sticking up. Oh, these are hard to get back in. I left my third hand at home. Gotta get it in and push it down. So I think we're in all the way. Yeah, I forgot to hook up the touchpad and the keyboard. Sorry guys, but it only took me a second there. My bad again. Call this my bad video. Trials and tribulations. All right, so we got those connected. Now I'm gonna put my flash drive back in and boot of it, hopefully. Oops, at least we got a keyboard. F9, it's F10. Let's see if it's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boot options. Shouldn't have to do this. Secure boots enabled. Yes, we want that. Well, it should, should just boot off of it. Try a different USB port, doesn't seem to like that one. Just gonna let it go. Some of these some of these laptops, Dell, HP, really any of them, depending on what USB port you're using to try to boot your flash drive from, it can make a difference as you can see it's now booting off the flash drive. It didn't like the USB high speed over there so I put it in the regular 2.0 port and now it's just found it mag automatically. So I'm just going to choose the United States. As a, I'm going to do a standard quick install and it will activate because I had Windows 8 on it so it's already been assigned a digital license with Microsoft so once I connect it to the internet it's taking a couple seconds to activate. People ask me that a lot in the comments like what about activation and the product key? Well you don't need that on these newer models like this with 8 and 10 and 11. And I'm going to accept the license terms. I'm going to do this pretty quick. Go over here to custom. There's our SATA SSD. Hit next. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to hook up that cable for the keyboard and the touchpad. Just got in too big of a hurry. But anyway, I'm not perfect. But I recognize my error immediately. But yeah, once Windows Windows 10 is on, I'm going to, of course, connect the internet, uh, get all my updates, throw a web browser on there, Chrome. She likes to use Chrome, she told me, so that's going to be pretty straightforward. Dump her pictures back on it and be a good, good working little computer and a lot faster with that SSD compared to that clunky old hard drive. Put the battery in my recycle bin because we do recycle all the old batteries here. 
Ah, I just don't like hard drives. So I'm going to let this get to the point where I'll come back here and we'll just walk through the setup real quick, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, duty called there. Um, so I'm going to choose the United States. I hit yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just going to walk through this setup real quick. U.S. keyboard layout. I'm going to skip additional layouts. All this stuff you can change later in settings. And I always choose. I click down here where it says I don't have internet because with Windows 10, they let, let you do that. So we don't have to create a Microsoft account or sign into one during the setup. Pretty straightforward. I'm just going to put in user for right now. Okay, now. I leave the password blank. Again, you can set all this up later. Basically, it's just going to be like a local account when I'm done here. And turn all this stuff off just for less junk on that don't need to be. Except. And we're not going to do Cortana right now. So we're going to let it get into Windows here real quick and we should be golden. It's going to work a lot better. Brand new battery. Solid state SATA drive in there. And it'd be awesome. For to start using it. Why they ever put mechanical hard drives in any of these two and ones? I never understood that because they're subject to a lot of, you know, a lot of a movement and banging around and clanking around. Mechanical hard drive just is not a good idea, in my opinion, any two in one where you're flipping it and moving it, exposing it to vibra extra vibrations as opposed to just sitting on your desk or on your lap. But anyway, just my opinion. Shouldn't take too long to get into Windows here. But check out more of my videos on my landing page there, guys. I got lots of videos on, on cloning, installing SSDs, M.2 SSDs, battery replacements, the different types of computers, and so on. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Coming up on 20,000 subscribers. Help me get there faster. I'd appreciate it. And give me a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, because I messed up and I didn't hook the keyboard and mouse back up, you can not like it. But I caught my error. <laughs> Almost there. That means we're going to be in Windows in two seconds. All right, so we're good there. It is a touch screen. So we're good there. Not a, not a super high-end computer, but there's our 250 gig SSD right there showing up just just fine we're good um, so yeah I appreciate you guys watching hope the video was somewhat helpful and just slow down don't get in a hurry like I always seem to when I'm doing some of these videos just like a lot of other jobs I got to get done so anyway everything went, I think good um, <clears throat> thanks for watching have a great day